Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing as oxybenzene by the partial reduction of nitrobenzene with methanol in the presence of sodium hydroxide. Chemicals required for this synthesis are 40 ml of methanol, 10 g of sodium hydroxide pellets and 6.2 g of nitrobenzene. Start by fixing a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask on a stand with a clamp. A magnetic steering bar was placed inside. Using a funnel, 10 g of sodium hydroxide pellets were transferred to the flask. Next, 40 ml of methanol was added to the flask. Some amount of methanol from the 40 ml volume was used to rinse any leftover sodium hydroxide present in the beaker and that too was transferred to the flask. Then the remaining methanol was used to wash down everything to the flask. Next, 6.2 grams of nitrobenzene was added to the flask. Nitrobenzene has a distinct light yellow color and is extremely aromatic. Now a dim growth condenser was attached on top of the flask and the flask was placed in a boiling water bath. Cold water was circulated through the condenser and the reaction mixture was reflexed for 1.5 hours. While it is getting reflexed, let us go through the chemical reaction that is going on. Here nitrobenzene is partially reduced by methanol to form the intermediates nitrosobenzene and phenylhydroxylamine. Later the intermediates nitrosobenzene and phenylhydroxylamine condenses to form the product as oxybenzene. After 1.5 hours of reflux, the flask was allowed to cool to room temperature and the contents of the flask was added to around 200 ml of ice water. Immediately the crude product as oxybenzene precipitates out. All the chunks from the flask was added to the water. This was then collected by vacuum filtration using a Buchner funnel. This is the crude product after filtration. It appears yellow. You can see two steering bars which accidentally fell into the funnel. The crude product was then collected from the funnel and was recrystallized from hot 95% ethanol solution to get the needle shaped crystals of pure asoxy benzene. It was later vacuum filtered and collected. The final yield was 1.3 grams which represents a percentage yield of 12. What a terrible yield after all the sweat and toil. But anyway, we were able to see some pretty good crystals and that is enough for me. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.